What's going on YouTube? In this video, we got a nice little scheme out of the Dallas playbook. We're gonna be in the I form H slot formation. What I'm gonna start doing is, I'm just gonna start going through playbooks and getting a little scheme out of that playbook. So I can start dropping schemes for every playbook in the game. And you know, people have more variety if they don't use customs and they have to stick to that playbook. Like for Mutt, uh, you'll have something to go to. And if there's a certain playbook you're using that you're having trouble with right now, drop it in the comments down below and I'll find a scheme for you out of that playbook help you get some money plays going help you get some good route combos going um and just understanding how to beat certain formations on defense depending on the formation that we're in so like i said for the dallas we're going to be starting this off with the i form h close this is a really really good formation so let's jump into our audibles real quick this is what you're going to want you can have different ones but these are the ones that i run to make this scheme work we got the stretch we got the 95 mic we got the pax dagger and we got the pa flood check we're going to mostly be working with the pa flood check the other ones are kind of check down plays but this is going to be the money play right here uh we're going to go through all the money plays first and then we'll you know uh go through the other plays when to use them when not to use them things like that so like i said we're going to start off with the pa flood f check let's jump into the practice field show you how we set this up against all zone coverages and we'll throw in some man coverage as well and get that going for you all right first defense we're going to be going against is just your normal cover three sky what you're going to want to do is put b on a streak put your running back on a wheel route then you have different options you can block the tight end you can put them on a route if you're confident with your o-line you can put them on a, i would put them on like a five and in or something like that he's a nice check down but since i got that uh that route with the fullback which i put pollard at fullback uh it is a really really good route it's a good check down route he's gonna stop right there um and then we also got the wheel route the wheel route is not gonna be our go-to but it is a good check down if we need to hit something quick and early uh but we're gonna be mainly focusing on x and just watch what happens we're gonna get the nice bomb over top uh this will happen every time against cover three the wheel route is really keeping that cornerback true to itself uh i i waited way too long to throw that ball but you can see that we still got it we're in it a couple more times um you you can do different things if you want to you can actually motion out the running back put them on a five and out smart route it y'all seen that combo many many times that's another thing you can do but you want to keep the running back in the back backfield just to keep them guessing is he doing that 90 uh that mike will or whatever the the run up the middle or the stretch so you want to keep the running back but you can do this this is another way to beat cover three because it keeps that cornerback true to himself right there you can see he like gets brought down and then we can just lead the ball all the way to the right get a nice one play touchdown obviously the other way i think is actually better uh we'll do it that way one more time put him on a wheel route put be on a street and then i would like i said i would keep the tight end blocking just in case that this is the guy coming in he can really set the edge if he's on a quarterback attain it could really mess you up knowing that it is this guy though we're gonna go ahead and double team him to get that better blocking and then be able to rotate and get outside to the right uh because i really really do like getting outside the pocket it does help you don't have to but it just that's just one of the things i really like to do and you can see right there we got the one play touchdown this is against cover three we're going to jump against cover four all right this is going to be against cover four one thing i forgot to mention about cover three it doesn't necessarily matter where you're at on the, the field for cover three hash wise but against cover four it kind of does it makes it work that much better actually it doesn't work if it's flipped the other way so if you're on the left hash mark you want your post route on the right side if you're on the right hash mark you want your post route on the left side you literally ha don't have to do any changes to this play just to show you let's go ahead and run it i'm going to double team the most outside guy but a couple things if somebody's running cover four on you like this with this type of setup just audible down to the run play in the middle um but if you know they're in cover four and you need like let's say like it's a you know you got one minute left in the second quarter they're just staying in cover four because they don't want you to get they don't want to get beat over top you can just run this play as is just be stay in the pocket and just watch the safety he's gonna play real shallow underneath and we got the one play touchdown right there to cd lamb this is a really nice one play touchdown uh it, it has that effect where the left side really doesn't back up they just kind of settle down where they're at uh, but you can do different things if you want to you can put Pollard like on a five and in like this just to have somebody to check down to the left and then you have the running back to the right um, but I wouldn't change too much about it it's just it's already a really good uh, cover four bomb right there I just didn't throw it that, that good and the timing was off and that's another thing you got to get in the practice field you got to get the timing down we'll run it one more time just to show you that it is consistent this time we're just gonna look look at the routes right there though look at Pollard he's wide open I like that route that's a really good route 
uh, where they just pause. I think it's called like a ghost route or something like that, but it's a really, really good route. Um, so I usually keep it there, but that's against cover four. Let's jump into cover two. All right, now we're gonna be going against cover two. Most of y'all, if you've been around the channel, know how to beat cover two. Y'all already know. Deep post, slant route. Just put B on a slant route right there. Uh, I would keep the running back and the fullback on the roster on. Really good check downs. If you're confident in your O-line, you know where the blitz is coming from, more power to you, you can put the tight end on a slant. Now, me personally, uh, if I know they're in cover two, now what a lot of people have been doing uh, with cover two lately is they're putting a middle linebacker playing deep in the middle of the field or a sub linebacker playing deep in the middle of the field. One thing about that, it does not stop the deep post. Just like cover one doesn't stop the deep post with the safety in the middle of the field, neither does that. He's going to pass them up. You just need that time. And that's why I recommend keeping the tight end blocking and you still have decent checkdowns. So just keep that in mind because a lot of people have been running that where they put that uh, middle guy really deep uh, and they think that it's going to stop the deep post and it does not. Just keep that in mind. Uh, but let's go ahead and show you how we uh, run this and beat cover two, play action. Look at the look at the uh, the routes right here though. Both of them get open. I'm gonna just go ahead and get the sack right there. But I wanted to show you with those two routes, the fullback and the running back. They're really really good check down routes. Um, if you need to hit them, the blitz is coming quick. Just watch out for the running back first, and then the fullback when he does that turnaround. But we're here for the one play touchdown right here over top. You're gonna see we have it. Be smart about it when you're watching the uh, the D line. If they're coming from the right heavy, which they were, just stay right there in the pocket, or uh, you know. Rotate to the left a little bit. Just understand where the blitz is coming from. I see it coming from the right side. If somebody is lined up like this, you know, and they're outside your tight end and your tight end is blocking or your left tackle and they're playing quarterback contains and you try to move to that side just a little bit, he's going to he's gonna get the shed and he's going to get to your quarterback really quick. So if that's the case, just be smart about it. I'm watching my play action and I'm watching the D line and seeing what happens. I'm seeing he's coming from the right. So I'm going to rotate to the left a little bit and then we get the one play touchdown right there. Well, maybe it depends on the speed, but right there we get the one play touchdown. That's the easiest way to beat cover two. Let's jump, let's jump into some other coverages. All right, there's a couple of defenses that I wanna talk about that I don't talk about enough is a cover six and a cover nine. There's also a, a cover three cloud that plays similar to a cover six, but we're gonna talk about mainly the cover six and the cover nine because a lot of people lately have been using those and I don't really add those into these money plays. Uh, so let's go ahead and start adding those to these money plays and give you a better understanding. So cover six and cover nine, the dead giveaway that they're in one of those defenses is the cornerbacks. One's gonna be closer to the line, one's gonna be further off. If you see the right cornerback, he's five yards off the ball. The left cornerback is seven, seven to eight yards off the ball. This is cover six. The difference is when it's cover six, the right cornerback's gonna be closer. If it's cover nine, the left cornerback's gonna be closer. Let's say you pick cover six and you flip it. You're just flipping it to a cover nine. That's basically what you're doing. So just make sure you understand the defenses when you're using them. They will play something some, something like a, co uh, a cover four quarters. They kind of play like a man coverage. There's a, me there's a mechanic to these defenses that you need to understand. If y'all do want a better understanding for these defenses, let me know in the comments down below and I'll drop a video to give y'all an understanding on how to use it and understand it so you can use it better um, and just not pick it and not know what you're getting into. So let's show you how to beat it though. Um, and that's what I wanna start doing with these money plays to make sure we add these two defenses because a lot of people have been using them. So if you see the cover six, which will be the right cornerback closer to the line, what you're gonna do is put B on a slant and the running back on a wheel route. Just watch what happens. The fullback is gonna get wide open. This is where you're gonna get that man effect where they start playing them like it's man coverage, but they, they seem to leave out the fullback. So look what happens. If you don't understand this defense, you're gonna easily get burnt like this and it's not a good look. And on top of that, if I want to, you, you do need a burner for this because they will they kind of play over the top, but watch what happens with the post route. If I want to, if I had somebody fast like Marquise Brown, Tyreek Hill, just watch what happens with the post route. Nobody's gonna be able to help them over the top. And we almost, we're, able, we're almost able to beat them right there, but the cornerback's faster. And that's, I just wanted to show you that if you did have the speed, you will be able to beat them with that post route over the top. Nobody's gonna help them. It's gonna be like man coverage, but you will beat them off that first step when you cut, and that happens a lot. So just make sure to keep that in mind, you will need somebody faster, or if it's even speed and you got better route running, then you'll get it too. You'll get the ball on that one. But the easiest way to beat it, if you see the cover six, is just to set it up like this, 
the fullback's going to be left alone, and you're going to see it's going to happen again. Wide open. Nobody's there to guard him. Just keep that in mind. If you see that right cornerback, it, it, it's going to stay the same no matter what hash. Let's say I move the hash over and I keep the play the same. If the right cornerback is lower, that means it's a cover six. Just set the play up the same way. Let's jump into the cover nine. All right, now we're in cover nine. You can see the difference. Cover nine is the right cornerback is being seven to eight yards off the ball. You can see on the left, we have our cornerback five yards off the ball. It's flipped. Just like if you flip a six upside down, turns into a nine. If you flip a nine upside down, turns into a six. Same thing with the defenses. So if I was to flip this cover nine, it would change it and it'll turn it into a cover six and my cornerback would be shorter on the right side. I know that probably sounds confusing, but slow it down go back and forth a couple times hear what i had to say and then you'll get it but that's basically what it is it's confusing to even talk about honestly but easiest way to call it, to tell the difference is just read the right side cornerback if he sh if he's five yards off the ball cover six seven to eight cover nine so the way you're going to be cover nine is just just put b on a street and just watch what happens it's the they play so weird and then you're going to see he gets open Right there, you can just easily throw the ball over the top. Nobody's guarding them. That safety doesn't know what to do. If they're using the safety, if they're playing this defense, then they can guard it. But most of the time, people play the middle linebacker or somebody in the middle of the field. But that's the easiest way to beat the cover nine. So if you read them like that, if the cornerback the on the right side, seven yards off the ball, eight yards off the ball, just put B on a streak, and then you got the bomb over top. Nobody there to guard me. That, got, that safety's playing pretty dumb, just backpedaling, backpedaling. And if we have the speed, like I said, the Cowboys don't got the greatest speed. They got route runners. Um, we can get one play touchdowns left and right. So that's going to be the cover six and cover nine. Let's jump into the other plays that we got in the mix. Um, we could just go ahead and stay in this defense to talk about the other ones. If you see a good read, like uh, say they're playing some type of dime where there's only three down linemen and everybody else is safeties and cornerbacks, audible to your run plays. This 95 mic is a really good run play. And then obviously we got the stretch also a really good run play and then we're going to go ahead and jump into a, a couple of different coverages for the pa dagger and show you how to set it up and then just go from there all right let's go ahead and talk about the play px dagger this is a really good play this is one of the plays i like to audible to just to give them a different look in the same formation the way i like to set this play up is i put the tight end I actually motion them out put them on a streak um and you can still run the stretch and the the 95 mic out of this play just depend on the defense obviously with the way they're set up i wouldn't run the stretch to the right maybe to the left but that's just another thing you can start mixing in after you run it a couple times and then from here you can actually keep x on the route he's on but i like to put him on a five and in and then keep everything else the same so this will be cover three you can actually bomb cover four over the top of this play you won't get a one play touchdown but you'll get a lot of yards which we'll show you um, but setting it up like this is one of the best route combos in the game having x and then b on that like inside post i guess you would call it a, a yeah basically basically inside post and then we got to check down with the fullback and then the running back as well really good check down but watch what happens against cover three right here we're gonna easily be uh i'm gonna throw a low ball i always throw a low ball if i got a over top possession catch it rack catch it if you have the room um and then you can wait a little bit longer if you need to get to the sideline um i'm not gonna talk too much about the play because you'll set it up the same way every single time against every defense um i will show you against cover four one more time we'll run it against cover three uh this is the setup against all defenses this is how i would set it up you can keep the tight end in the tight end position and put them on a streak but against cover three you won't get this same look the cornerback will do a better job of guarding b because there's nobody there in his zone I, like i said i'm just low balling it um and leading it to the right if you have the room rat catch it if you don't um it, uh possession catch it let's jump into cover four real quick and just show you how you can beat this with a one play touchdown I know I said one play touchdown, but not necessarily a one play touchdown. Now, against cover four, I would set it up different. I would actually keep the tight end in the tight end position um, and just run it like this. The exact same way, but what we're going to be able to do is bomb the quarterback over top. He, we do get bumped, but just watch the tight end. He's going to play this with the, like, he's just in a backpedal, backpedal, and you can bomb it over top like this against them. If you want to, you can motion the tight end out still against cover four and run it like that too, where you put it like this, put him on a streak. And then you're going to get similar results how you're going to underthrow the uh, to the B receiver. The tight end is going to take everybody out the picture on that side. And then you can see right here, we can underthrow them and then get a, a nice little rack catch. So you can still run it both ways, um, this way or that way, if you know they're in cover four, which a lot of people won't run cover four on you if you're in this formation. They'll probably stick to a cover three or a cover two. 
or cover six or nine but but we showed you how to read the cover six and cover nine um so now you have multiple ways to beat multiple defenses uh you got a lot of one play touchdowns against all kinds of defenses uh, all right, YouTube, that's going to be it for this little Dallas game we got going for you. Like I said, we're going to be doing all 32 teams, including the unique playbooks like run balance, balance, run heavy, all that good stuff. But first, we're going to go and jump to plays, uh, playbooks that we haven't really touched on. You know, the more unique ones like the Dallas. A lot of people probably don't use the Dallas playbook. But just in case, you know, you got people out there that play mud or your franchise and they stick to one playbook and they like to be a little bit different. Uh, you know, if you have a playbook that you don't see a lot of money players out of, let me know in the comments down below and we'll give you a little bit more firepower out of that playbook give you a scheme if you need any help uh, finding running plays out of that playbook or just you know some one play touchdowns to mix in there you gotta let me know in the comments down below and we'll definitely get to that because that's going to be my goal we're going to go like i said all 32 teams and then on top of that the unique playbooks but i'm going to focus on the playbooks we have not you know touched lately or at all um you know we got the the miami that we've been dropping heavy on the seahawks the raiders you know all those popular playbooks already have a bunch of plays so if, if you got a unique playbook out there that you use that you don't see a lot of money plays out of let me know down below with all that being said go ahead like comment subscribe let's get it